Uh, you know what's not disappointing? And my number one weekend winner, Matt? Shirtless Coach O in Florida. Everything Ogeron touches turns to gold. Everything the sun <laughs> touches turns to red. And look at my man. You cannot Ray Baker, right? He's talked about the sun in the past. His good buddy, Ray Baker. <laughs> where you could, you could Who's pour, he running with? Uh, some other Jack Somebody's who, husband. Some random who, by guy. By the way, can you pull that pic? Like, can, dudes in flip-flops. Yeah, I, know, I, think it, I think it was somebody's husband that just jumped in the oh, picture. Oh, just jumped in the yeah, picture. Yeah, this is, this okay, is okay, for okay, sure okay. just like a jacked bro who's like, oh my God, that's Coach O. Like, There's I'm, like three different Coach O pictures circulating the internet There's the right video now. of the guy from like a balcony who like, spotted him. Poor guy. He's, like, he's all over the place. But I think it's a good look, man. He looks jacked. He always has. His skin is, uh, like I said, you it, it, it can absorb all the sun that it could offer. Like if the ozone disappears and we were in... Risk of global warming. His skin could just take all of that. But Coach O, looking good. Power moves on Memorial Day weekend. Shout out to Coach Ed Ogeron, my first weekend winner. Literally, everybody. I was I was in Point Clear, Alabama at the Grand this weekend. Everybody I met there from here asked me, hey, man, did you see the Coach O video? Like, literally everybody. <laughs> Literally everyone was talking about that. I mean, look at him, dude. Shirtless jog. Looking good if you're watching on Facebook Live. Uh, okay, my second week in winners. Is that a grouping of winners? It's a lot of the stuff to do with the match. Um, Twitter Sean Payton showed up once again, oh, which so I good. love. So Tom Brady, uh, another week in winner. If you're someone who likes superhuman people looking normal like we touched on earlier, I think you were a winner. There's being golf fans were winners. But Sean Payton shows up. So Tom Brady's kind of struggling in the beginning, he's not playing well, and uh, Sean shows up and tweets, I'm liking this Florida Tom Brady right now, which is obviously excellent considering the fact that they're going to be squaring up with him twice. Uh, but probably the best burn of the day, of course, goes to Tom Brady. Because not only, so Chuck, Chuck uh, Charles Barkley, one of the most infamously bad golfers of all time, is ripping on Brady for how bad he's playing constantly. Then Brady does Brady things. He pulls off some, like, 100-yard shot, it's awesome. He's like, eat that, Chuck. But the real roast came after the fact where Tom Brady quote-tweeted a video of him making that shot and then said, I thought this was champions for charity, Chuck, with the champions all cap. Poor Chuck, man. Mm. Poor Chuck, man. That guy doesn't get a ring, and nobody will let him forget it. Chuckles. Shaq goes after him. MJ won't talk to him anymore. Well, he brings a lot on himself. Hell yeah. Like, nobody goes after Carl Malone, who never won a ring either, but that's because Carl's a very nice guy and doesn't go take shots at other people as well. He's Char a legend. Charles does that. So, <laughs> uh, you open yourself up for it. But yeah. I also really liked, like, Peyton Manning is kind of an OG trash talker. Yes, he's a Did you hear, like, before the round, he, he, um, he asked Brady's like, who should I get to be my caddy? Should I get Eli or, or Nick Foles? <laughs> I mean, what good. a weird <laughs> quirk of the Tom Brady resume yeah. that the quarterbacks that he lost to were Eli Manning and Nick Foles. In fairness, though, Tom didn't do anything to lose those games. Yeah, that's true. And especially the second one against the Giants. Yeah, Wes Welker blew it, bro. Come on, man. Well, the we, first one was the David Tyree. Oh, that, was, that was the Tyree. The thing. absurd thing. But, like, and the second one... Yeah, he had the drop. Welker, I mean, catch the ball, bro. Catch the ball, you kick feel, you win the game. It's over. But guess what? You're, that, that's entirely too much context. Okay, he didn't win. And that's yeah, all we talk loser. about here in Sports Talk. Loser? Like, yeah, loser. Exactly. Uh, what about... Did you all see Jim Harbaugh doing cartwheels? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so a lot of people probably thought this was cringy, right? We broke down the cringiness of... Uh, what's his name? The Clemson head coach. That was Sweeney. Oh, the TikTok? Uh, yeah, the TikTok. Hickory dickory dog. You want Sweeney TikTok got it? that drip. We'll talk about that now. Okay. Um, Should be. But so 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 that that was cringy. I think a lot of people felt like Harbaugh was the same. I disagree. I disagree. So if you haven't seen it, Harbaugh and his coach staff to get a big commitment from this linebacker, Jaden Hood. And the, the, kind of inexplicably on his commitment video at the end, it's Harbaugh and the position coach doing a cartwheel and saying, go blue. So the reason why I put this in my winners is because I think that there's a sincerity there that I can appreciate and relate with, right? He, he's an older guy. He, he doesn't know how to, how to like, connect with the youth. And so they're having a meet, and he's like, hey, man, like, what if we did a cartwheel? That'd be sick. The kids would love that. Show off a little bit. That's what they're doing online. So, hell yeah, Jim Harbaugh. You do you. Nice job getting that commitment. Nice cartwheel. I don't believe that's him doing him. That's the problem. That feels very fabricated. Very sensationalized. 
But it's like, but it's Ed, like an old person Ed Ogeron fabrication. running down the street without a shirt. That's fair. That's just Ed Ogeron. And the much like, bigger winner. Literally, ever since he's been on campus, on any given day, you could see Ed running shirtless down Nicholson. That's not a new thing. This is new because it feels like he's got to do something, right? Danny, like Dabo did it. Like he's, you're losing the arms race. What but, can you but, do to get but, attention? But the funny, the funny element, though, is just like, it's like, hey, let's do a cartwheel. It's like the most meathead thing ever. You can't come up with anything great. Let's do a cartwheel. Go blue. That's it. Danny, look at the Not Zion. Cartwheel look at the Zion celebration at the end. Look at what he does with his arms. He does that weird thing that Zion does where he like puts his arms down his side, kind of. Shout out Jim Harbaugh. I enjoyed it. Hey, any weekend winners from the producers? What do we got? Water slides. Okay, let's hear it. Went to a college party and there was a water slide and it was really fun. That sounds not COVID friendly in the slightest. Uh, Danny, <laughs> what, what's your weekend winner? Hey, can you turn Danny, Danny's mic on? <laughs> no. Nope. Nope. Okay, okay. I have one. Okay, what do you got, Your Matt? mic's on. Come talk. What do you got, Matt? This isn't a weekend winner, but her story reminded me of a time that uh, me and my buddies threw a phone party inside an apartment. In oh, okay, okay. I'm intrigued. I'll bite. What, 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 what did, uh, how, how, do you, how did you foam it up? Bought uh, two by fours and like wooded decked out the apartment, <laughs> right? To protect the carpet. <laughs> so y'all didn't, I thought it was at that point you're like, no, screw the security deposit. No, no. Visqueen, like on the walls, wrapped all the walls. <laughs> And then had had a foam machine outside. We pumped through oh a window. I have pictures. I'll show you. Foam party inside and okay, that's pretty and epic. got the security deposit back at the end. See, that is why that is why I used to be so jealous at times of people who didn't have like the responsibilities of being on like you know a football team during college football. because like I'd be out there high anxiety in the summer. Stressing so bad about trying to make this one ten test, trying to learn the playbook. Everybody's gonna hate me, and then all my boys are out there like, "Dude, we should wrap this apartment in visqueen. We'll throw down some two by fours, bro. We can have a phone party in here. I'm telling you, we just gotta put a little work in." By the way, the people, uh, my buddies at the apartment, none of them talked like that. And all, if I told you what they do now, you'd be so insanely hey, college jealous. Is, God's a great time. One of them is actually a medical doctor. Yeah. The other is uh, an international business consultant based See, so out that's, of Dallas. That's, that's one of the things that you realize when you grow up. <laughs> and the other's an attorney. Is that everybody's just slapdicks. Uh, these people in <laughs> positions of authority that thought you were like, you know, you thought, okay, they got it under control. They got it all figured out. No. That's your boy who got blackout drunk at the phone party uh, and puked in the phone uh, and ruined it for everybody. Have your fun, kids. I threw an accidental phone party uh, not knowing how to wash dishes in college. Freshman year, first showed up that summer, and I put a bunch of uh, dish soap in the in the like dishwasher, and I come back 30 minutes later, come in my room, and there are bubbles everywhere. Um, yeah, what are you going to do? Maybe you shouldn't tell that story. Spoiled kid, you know, you know. Hey, we all got to learn life lessons somehow. And uh, I find that, you know, learning them firsthand is the premier way to do so. Okay, those are your weekend winners.